In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a string to an int in C++. So for example, let's say we have a string number one is equal to 42. Technically what the string contains is the characters four and two, but we know these characters together represent the int value 42. We want to extract that int value that's represented by the string. We can include the string library to help us. This library has a function called STOI. That function will take a string and return the int value contained in that string. So for example, we could have here int n1 is equal to, and we'll call STOI and we'll pass it our string. This function is going to take that string and convert it to an int. And it's going to return that int value, which we then store into n1. We could then output n1. So here we'll have C out and then n1 followed by an n line. If we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here 42. So the STOI function can be used to convert a string to an int. Now this function is only available in C++ 11 onwards, where C++ 11 is a version of the actual C++ language itself. What that means is if you're using an older version of the C++ language, the STOI function is not going to be available. There's another popular way to convert a string to an int, which will work with older versions of C++. What we can do is include the stream library. This will allow us to make a string stream object. So down here, we'll make a string stream object. We'll call it convert. So we can put a string onto the stream and we can extract an int. We'll have here a string number two is equal to four. We'll put this string onto the stream. We'll have convert and we'll have number two. And this stream insertion operator is going to put this string here onto this stream. We'll then extract the int using the stream extraction operator. So we'll have int n2 to store the int, then we'll have convert, and we'll use the stream extraction operator to extract the int value and put it into n2. We can then output n2. So here we'll have c out and then n2 followed by an n line. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here four. So this is another way to convert a string to an int. And this approach is going to work with older versions of the language. Now there are other ways of converting a string to an int in C++. And maybe I'll cover those in future videos, but these are two convenient ways to convert a string to an int in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.